We're going to take a quick look at Libuntu LXQT 22.04 slated to release in a couple of days. Nothing between now and then will change much. Libuntu 22.04 will release with LXQT version 0.17.0, which is disappointing, mostly because that was released April 2021. November 2021, we had a release of LXQT 1.0.0, November 2021, and that did not make the cut. It, I'm guessing it's just because there's not enough people working on the project, on the Lubuntu project. Either way, very disappointing. It's also disappointing that we didn't get the just released LXQT 1.1.0. has a lot of nice features in it, but I would like to have seen at least the 1.0.0. We didn't get that, so we're going to have to settle with the LXQT.17. Uh, if you're coming from the last LTS version, that was that one had 0.14, so you are getting an upgrade. Uh, general highlights, LXQT terminates all child processes on exiting this session. Creation time is fully supported by the file manager. SVG icon sets are handled more efficiently and independently. LXQT power manager has separate idle watchers for AC and battery, and also an option to, disa di di to disable them when the active window is full screen. LXQT panel has an option for behaving like a dock. Example, auto hiding only on an overlapping window. Translations are completely done through Weblet and are cons uh, constantly updated for all components. That's actually really cool. GitHub's discussion and section for LXQT is up and running, asking questions, making suggestions, and discussing ideas. Uh, they're welcoming you to that. Good, good. So, LX, um, Lubuntu 20. 22.04. Based on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS, it is an LTS version. I think they're going to support for three years, but uh, I'm not seeing the official number on that. Uh, Linux kernel 5.15. That does bring a kernel version of a, a built in kernel SMB server if you're doing. Samba shares for window that'll make that a whole lot faster. Uh, it is using the KDE Discover 5.24, LibreOffice 7.3.2, VLC Media Player 3.0.16, and the Calamaris installer. I really like the Calamaris installer, and we're going to have a look at that right now. If you're if you've ever installed Manjaro, this is also the Calamaris installer is also what installs Manjaro. So I run Manjaro now, so I'm very familiar with that. We're just gonna run through next next default. It is a virtual machine, so I'm just gonna tell it to erase disk and use as needed. Why am I capped? I don't want to be capped. That'll work. And I can log in automatically. And it is that easy to do the install. Now you just sit and wait while it does the install. And I'll be right back. Okay, let's do a quick restart. Oh, I unchecked it, didn't I? Well, that was not very bright. Reboot. So anytime you boot up, it's, this is a uh, desktop. This is not a laptop, but it's still going to tell you no battery. That is normal. Or LXQT and this next one is you are running the LXQT power management for the first time we're going to go ahead and configure it battery since I don't have a battery I'm not going to check enable battery watcher lead enable lid watcher I don't have a lid 
Um, these are all great things if you're putting this on a laptop. And if you're putting this on a on an older laptop or a slower laptop, let me tell you, LXQT is blazingly fast. There's just about not... You could put Lubuntu on anything in the last 20 years and it will probably run great. Yeah. It's not the... I mean, it's it's not ugly, per se. It's very basic. It's very... Windows 3X-ish. But it's blazingly fast. And with the modern kernel that Ubuntu provides, you do have, you know, modern hardware capabilities. You can put it on a brand new hardware and it'd be just fine. Or you, or also being an Ubuntu base, you can put it on very old hardware and it'll be just fine. So yeah, there is that. Uh, 2048 game is pre-installed. I have no idea how to play this. Okay. There's not much else to go over. There's, it's very effective at what it does. Um, system tools, it does use KDE Discover. We'll go ahead and load that up real quick. Go full screen with it. And it's telling me to, is unable to load. I just disconnected, so it's definitely connected. Interesting. Connected and established. Very interesting. So let's do it this way. Let's go into uh, System Tools Q Terminal. Let's see if we're connection connected. It is definitely connected. Got a couple of, just a couple of updates available. Go ahead and let them happen. I want to see how many packages Kden Live is going to require compared to, oops, compared to uh, GNOME or uh, Ubuntu proper, rather. And it's about the same. Quite a few. Just curious. That's all. There's not a lot of other things to look at, I don't think. It does have a startup disk creator. Uh, it has VLC. It does have Pulse Audio. I'm gonna, I'm going to uh, examine putting PipeWire on here, and if I can figure that out, I will make a video about putting PipeWire on the Ubuntu 22.04 about LXQT about 17 that's still disappointing but it is what it is I appreciate the uh, Lubuntu team for all that they do I definitely do but that is all for now thanks for watching